Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to do a video on setting up a CoinJar account. Uh, someone has asked me to do that. Um, I've been wanting to get that in place for a little while. Um, I've been using a Zappo card, debit card, for the last year or so, and they're changing the rules there, and that's not available to Australians. Uh, it's more a European focus now, so I do need to get myself a um, Australian sort of a, you know, crypto debit card. And CoinJar is offering um, an excellent solution. So let's just try and get through that. So um, you can follow the steps with me. So here we are. Um, I just need to put my full name in. And we're off to signing up. So these are, I guess, the standard sorts of things that we need to um, key in. Let's see if we'll accept a simple alphanumeric code. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's saying my, my password's not strong enough. I get that. So let's try that again. Okay, so what's happening now, an email is going to my email address, uh, which I need to confirm. So let's move over there and see if that's come in. Okay, there's the coin jar confirmation. Again, it took literally seconds to do. I've confirmed that. So we've now got a, an account that's successfully confirmed. You can sign in. So it's obviously asking for my email address. Now I use um, LastPass for all of my password sort of um, passwords on everything I do. I do suggest you use something like that if you're online and doing a lot of work, especially within the the crypto space. Uh, pretty important to do that. Let's see if we get that up. I don't want Google to save my password. But see how it's come up here on the right, up the top. Uh, LastPass is asking me to um, save that password. I'll add it, and I absolutely want to do that. So that's now locked in uh, there, and I don't need to worry about what that password is. So we're going to confirm that we've read the terms of service. Oh, okay. We want to put in a username, but let's just try and put up a um, uh, a picture. I would like to do that. So, just show you how to do that. So, go to where I hold a bunch of photos of me. So, it goes username. Let's look at the wobbles here. The username is available, but choose carefully. This cannot be changed. Well, that's fine by me. I'll use that. The country I'm in. Yes, that's fine. In Australia. My mobile number. Uh, do I get a verification code? Yep, let's do that. And I should expect. Okay, so we've got. Right, cool. So, okay, we've now got uh, ourselves a CoinJar account. So, what I'll do now, um, I'll start to work with this and come back uh, with a um, you know, another video on, you know, I guess the everyday use of um, CoinJar. One of the reasons I've um, headed this way is because, um, one, it's based here in Australia, uh, and, and secondly, it comes with a, a debit card. As I said, I needed a debit card to transact um, you know, the, the online business, that I, business I do via Bitcoin. So you can you know, bring Bitcoin in and out of a coin jar and convert it to my local currency, if that's what I choose to do. Um, 
and you know it's all kind of works for me locally. Uh, one of the nice things about uh, uh, Coinjar is uh, you'll use BPay to um, uh, to transact across your you know your conventional banking environments here in Australia. So you know if you're with the NAB, the Westpac or ANZ, etc., you just link that up. That's set up here for you. But I'll go through that in more detail. Um, in, a, in a video that will be kind of part two of this. So, look, thanks for, for watching. Um, hopefully, that was uh, useful to you. You've actually seen me uh, put up my Coin Jar account live, um, and so so the next step for me is to put some some Aussie dollars into it uh, via um, my bank account, and we'll just see how that works. Okay, that's good. Bye.